Hello everybody, Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great week. Hope that you closed out the first month of the year on a good note. I hope that the things that you are aspiring to do on every front is progressing but remember what i always say no matter where you're at no matter how it's going if it's not going the way you're going do not become frenetic and unglued understand that if you're still breathing you are still in the fight um you have followed me for any time you know how this goes uh, if you believe in the work we're doing, if you like what you see and you hear, click the like button, click the share button, and subscribe. I'm almost certain if you don't like it, you'll hit the thumbs down button so we don't even have to talk about that. Uh, but nevertheless, here we are again. And the most important part of um, this intro is if you believe in our work, uh, our 30 years of research and development, program development, research into the enigmatic issues that plague uh, the black community and the solutions that come out of that, the programs that come out of that, the community engagement work. If you didn't see the uh, epigenetics uh, symposium that I uh, conducted on this past Saturday, that's going to be on the Black Voice channel. Um, check it out but if you believe in that we need you to look in the description box and support us we are in the middle of a push a fundraising push that was supposed to be a push we're always you know asking for support uh, but we, we try to do these pushes to heighten awareness of what we're doing and to gain support within the community and last week we pushed uh, for the week, four or five thousand dollars, we literally got less than a hundred. I'm not gonna even say what it is, but it was significantly less. Um, it is what it is. We have for years, decades, continued our journey and our work. We will continue, but there are some drop offs because of the lack of support. And I'll maybe share that with you. It, it, in this short segment, or maybe I won't, but we need your support, it's that simple. Nothing happens for free, and especially the liberation and empowerment of a people, the uh, development of young black minds, the healing of uh, generational trauma, the understanding of African-American adole and adolescent, I mean, African-American, uh, adolescent and young adult viol male violence and all of the things that comes with that like intimate partner homicide and fratricide and all of these things that we know happen and we love to come in oh my god and shaking my head on there are solutions to these issues there are uh, practices and programs that you can implement there are things that can be done outside of complaining but it does not happen within the vein of simply thinking the next person is going to do what you have the capacity to do here's something that is really really concerning me i had to be very careful in how i choose my words because in all that i do my energy and my peace is important to me even when I'm on the battlefield, my energy and my peace is important to me. So how I categorize, how I state things is of immense importance as I battle and I deal and I go through life with my own challenges. But here's the thing. With everything that's going on, um, I keep pushing, I keep you know, doing the things that I've always done, no matter what's happening. Uh, let's be honest, 97, 98% of the things I've done over the years funded for me personally out of my personal uh, resources. Uh, and I keep going and we're not talking small amounts. We're talking the programs that you see and hear, the things that are done. Well, anyway, um, 
thank God we got this program off this past week uh, with the Harris County uh, Sheriff's Office bringing this thing to the forefront. Uh, but anyway, in doing it, we got the attention of some people who were really interested in making sure that the program takes off. Here's why it's so important for us to give, because when they reviewed the basic principles, the basic layout, the things like Black Men Lead and uh, other programs, one of the first things that they wanted me to change in the wording in order to get funding for my programs is to remove black and replace it with inner city. And there are times that I've done that because I know what's going on. But the problem is when you start bringing in outside dollars, you start bringing in outside influences. When you start bringing in outside influences, it becomes about what makes them comfortable. And you also start getting people who don't mind putting money into things that don't work because they don't want it to work. This game is ugly. This game is challenging. Uh, this game is everything that you think it's not and none of the things you think it, think it is. And there are some other things that we're working on that hopefully long term brings about uh, the resources we need. But in the interim time, we have to do a better job. And my thing is, I'm looking at the interest that we give things that have no real true intrinsic value. Uh, prime example this you know and don't get me wrong everybody gets caught up in music get caught gets caught up in beefs and get, gets caught up in especially in hip-hop that's part of the thing that this is a part of hip-hop um, go back and you know we can go back to battles and beefs you know as far back as LL and uh, Modi and further back than that uh, so I, I get it, but my thing is when we have as many problematic and enigmatic issues as we do in the black community, we have and we have no center. And I'll show you if you look at this channel and you look at the posts and the uploads and the streams that get the most uh, attention. It's some sort of celebrity, some sort of gossip bullcrap that I found some kind of way to bring a lesson out of, but it all came from some viral BS that was going on that would never in and of itself bring any true growth, progression, uh, power to our community. That is what you'll see. You'll see that since I have been... Um, since I have been over the last month reducing those subscriptions have fallen way off when I'm talking about empowerment when I'm talking about financial responsibility as a people and as individuals when I'm talking about the issues that really truly matter literally like a 200% drop in subscribers. Now, those of you who know me know I'm not chasing subscribers, but I'm paying attention to how my people behave uh, and what, what draws them, what grains their attention. We want to be entertained. We, we, want, like, we want anything that will allow us to escape from the responsibility of the things we need to do to make changes in this world that benefit us, that benefit our children and our progeny. It is something that has been what those who oppose us count on. They're not going to do the work. They're not going to focus. Put it in a book. They're not going to read it. Put it in something of substance. They're not going to watch it. Bring out all the other bull crap to distract them. Get them talking about who's beefing with who. Get them talking about who wore what. Get them talking about whose concert is coming. Get them to talk about all these things. Then flood the airways with negative uh, stimuli like movies and videos and Instagram is just horrible. Uh, 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 it, for, it, it, it has so much potential, but it's horrible. 
Uh, everything is a distraction, a misdirection, a misguiding. We're living, sitting up in a political environment that's literally pegged to blow the black community completely to smithereens, and we aren't even aware of it. We haven't even sit down and had any type of collective discussion on how we're going to respond to the influx of uh, Mexicans and others from south of the border, Latinos from south of the border that are coming in un basically unimpeded into this country. And we haven't asked ourselves the question of why it's being allowed to happen. And we're not looking at the economic disruption that is happening and how it's impacting us disproportionately because we are caught up in all of the hoopla and the entertainment. The bottom line is we're set up to really take a major hit over the next 18 months to four years. And we don't even see it coming. We're buying into the BS that's being sold to us. We're jumping on bandwagons we don't belong on. We're thinking everything is good because what we see in front of us and we are literally living vicariously through a very few. The point is we've got work to do. And when I sit up and I show you what I've done, over and over and over again. And I look at the people who, and, 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 and I think this is what's frustrating to me because I could easily connect with someone else that's doing the work and plug in with them and do what I do. So it's not about what's not happening with me. It's not happening. Anybody with boots on the ground that's doing real work, I'm not talking about the people that's blowing their horn and finding their angle and sucking life out the black community. And, I, and, and, and I'll be very careful right here and not really say what I want to say uh, because I want you to hear me about the positive and I'm not trying to create even more distractions. But all the horn, I'm talking about people that I know across this country who have camps that teach you how to live out the grid, who have programs that show you how to homeschool who have situations where they're actually working with little black girls and little black boys uh, school advocacy i have done school advocacy i have worked uh with parents on dealing with their kids with disproportionality and special education referrals. I have worked with parents on kids with special diagnosis, ADHD, um, autism spectrum uh, disorder, um, and oppositional defiant disorder, all these things that are being thrown on them so that they can be flooded with psychotropic drugs like Vyvanse, Concerta, no Novas, um, Ritalin, and all of that. And, 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 and basically made to be docile and so that the school can get double the amount per student. Uh, I, we've, we've, we've gone to war on all of this stuff and, and, and sitting there looking at it, and there are literally minimal dollars coming from the black community to support it. So then what happens is a lot of these people sit up and they get tired of trying to make it happen and they either abandon it completely or they jump on the nonprofit industrial complex. Well, that problem with that is where the funding comes from. The funding comes from the people who benefit from your demise. Do you actually think they're funding your 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 empowerment, your liberation, your 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 your, your ability to overcome it? No, what they do is they do the research that we can't afford to do so they know that they can put a program in place, make the program look great, do all the optics, do all the video shoots and, and all the uh, photo ops and make it look like we're pouring millions off into this program for, these, for this, these poor black people. And then when it doesn't work, they sit up and say, look, we for years, we did this. We plumped millions of dollars in there. Those are just, that's just who they are. And those are the arguments that are being made because we aren't funding our own empowerment. But yeah, let's go on and talk about what's going on with Meg and Nikki. Let's talk about what's popping off with most deaf, uh, yeah, uh, uh, most deaf and, and and Drake. Let's 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 get off in all of that. And again. I'm not saying there's a, not a place for that discussion. I'm not saying that we don't deal in that because that's a part of our culture. That's a part of what's going on. We have a right to have that discussion, but that can't be our primary. That can't be a priority. That's got to be a side note. What's got to be a priority is how do we get out of the mess we're in? 
And I think it's immensely unfair to ask the minds and the people and the people with boots on the ground to sit up and walk this thing out on solo. Because if it's something we do break through on, all everybody who's sitting still and watching are gonna wanna benefit from it. It's time to stand up. It's time to stop sitting up and pretending that um, we're okay. We're not okay. And we're about to find out in, in, in a, I mean, you actually ever looked at Joe Biden in the time he's been in the office and that does, y'all lose your mind about Trump, but you're not watching this guy. And anybody that knows me is none of the guys got my support because I'm watching the system and I know how the system operates. But what I am saying is there's a reason, reason countries have borders. There's a reason. Do you realize you've got to have a passport to leave this country, but you don't have to have one to get in? Do you realize that? All I got to do is go south and come over. Do you realize not only do you not have to have a passport to get in, you can get into this country from the South and get all kinds of substances and support to underwrite you and set you up and get you ready to work in this country when black people don't have freaking jobs? And we're okay with it. We think we're making it. We're being replaced. Look, I'm going to get off of here. If you, if, if, if you believe in anything I'm doing, we need to make something happen. So that's my challenge to you. I'm gonna get off of here. But again, for those of you who have ever supported the work I've done and shown uh, any confidence in the work I've done, I appreciate you. But there's work to be done and that's something that has to be done. And on that note, look, I'm gonna get off of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.